Let x, y, and z be independent uniform random variables with normal distribution on the interval from 0 to 1. Find the distribution of the random variable x times y to the z. If you want to give the problem a try, pause the video here and come back for the solution. Let's first recall that if x, y, and z follow a uniform distribution, they are all non-zero on the interval from 0 to 1. We can write this as x is between 0 and 1, y is between 0 and 1, and z is between 0 and 1. From there, it follows that x times y to the z must also be between 0 and 1. Remember, since we're trying to find the distribution of this random variable, we're interested in finding the probability that x times y to the z is less than or equal to t for any t on the real line. Since we just observed that x times y to the z is non-zero only on the interval from 0 to 1, this probability is 0 for t less than 0 and 1 for t greater than 1. Now, we only have to deal with the case where t is in the interval from 0 to 1. First, let's take the zth root of both sides, giving us the probability that x times y is less than or equal to t to the power of 1 over z. Let's denote t to the power of 1 over z by alpha. We'll treat this alpha as a fixed value in our calculations. We can use this to simplify our expression to the probability that x times y is less than alpha. Now, if y is less than alpha, then x times y will always be less than alpha, so we can calculate this probability using a simple double integral giving us alpha. If y is greater than or equal to alpha, then x can only range from 0 to alpha over y, which we can again evaluate in a double integral to get negative alpha times the natural log of alpha. Adding the two probabilities together, we get that the probability that x times y is less than alpha is alpha minus alpha times the natural log of alpha. Plugging in t to the power of 1 over z for alpha, we get that the probability that x times y is less than or equal to t to the power of 1 over z is t to the power of 1 over z minus t to the power of 1 over z times the natural log of t to the power of 1 over z. Now, using the laws of the natural logarithm, we can take the exponent in front, which gives us a simplified expression. To get the cumulative distribution function, we now just have to integrate this expression over z. Let's split up this integral into two integrals. We'll focus on the first of these integrals. Using integration by parts, and letting u be t to the 1 over z and v be z, we can evaluate this integral and get t plus the integral from 0 to 1 of t to the 1 over z divided by z times the natural log of t dz. Let's plug in this expression into our equation for the cumulative distribution function. You can see that the two integrals on the right cancel out, leaving us with just t. So, f of t is equal to t, which means that x times y to the z must be a uniform random variable. I hope you enjoyed the solution to this problem. If you like solving math problems, make sure to subscribe to the QuantQuest. I'll see you next time.